Brownsville lies at the southernmost tip of Texas, on the border with Mexico, and is connected to the city of Matamoros by a bridge across the Rio Grande. It's in the poorest metro area in the United States, but Brownsville proves a culture of health can be built when resources are scarce, but partnerships are strong. Dr. Rose Gowan, a city commissioner, is working with partners from the university, health department, and the community. The people in Brownsville's health is affected by many different factors. Of course, the largest is poverty. Poverty, jobs, education, health are all connected, and you can't really examine one without the other. Among all of those challenges, we have a great many strengths, but our strongest asset is our people themselves. They want to feel better. They are looking for solutions, and they are willing to listen to possibilities. The catalyst that started us down the road towards building a, a healthy community in Brownsville was the University of Texas School of Public Health and its community advisory board who were studying and knew the degree of disparity that existed in Brownsville. What kind of policy and environmental changes need to be in place so that we can have that healthier quality of life? The Community Advisory Board today is over 200 strong, and they meet regularly to look at programming, solutions, and ways in which they can leverage resources. The city embarked in a long-range plan, and we were able to move forward together with all of the other entities towards building a culture of health. The Belden Trail was an abandoned rail line that touched several schools and ran through one of the lowest income neighborhoods of our city. It is today a concrete trail that is lit and landscaped and kids and families walk and bike to school. Active transportation should be seamless. It should be possible to ride your bike to a bus stop, put your bike on a bus and use your bike when you get off the bus. And that is what we're striving for, seamless, uninterrupted transportation. The Bike Barn is a grassroots initiative that has become very effective in engaging the children that live in the area in not only bike repair, but community building and riding bikes on a more frequent basis. The Promotoras are community health workers that undergo over 160 hours of training. They come from the community, they identify with the community, and they are welcomed. During a home visit, the community health worker uses motivational interviewing to reach out to the family and find out what their risks and realities are and connect them to whatever social services might be needed by that family. Okay. No, bueno, pues que bueno, me da gusto. 12 feet and 4 inches. The Belden Community Garden is being built to engage families that live in the neighborhood in how to grow healthy food choices and also, if excess exists, sell them at the farmer's market. The goal of the Du Salud Cicuenta program is to teach healthy eating and active living in Brownsville. Regular exercise classes that are free and throughout the city are provided by the Du Salud Cicuenta program. People in Brownsville are looking for better, better economy, better education, better health. We work hard every day to build a culture of health in Brownsville. We want to build a community where healthy is the norm and the expected as opposed to the anomaly. We want very much to cultivate partners that understand this and educate partners how they can interact to build a more healthy Brownsville. <laughs>